Hey guys, I'm LB, and wow, that elevator went down this time. Oh, and apparently it turned cheats on and off for a moment there. I think there's a way that you can do that without it spamming the screen. Ask Nock, he knows. So yeah, our elevator came down instead of going up. That's interesting. And we don't have anything on the screens. This is Inferno by Prop Dynamicish. I almost forgot to mention that. <laughs> this map features a new testing element called Portable Portalable Displacement Panel. Difficulty Solid Medium. Note, I think you need to set SV Player Funnel into Portals 1 after you enter the test chamber. Important. Because I somehow thought doing this is an excellent way to solve this problem. Portals will suck you in if you are too close to them while moving. Portals are obviously not really designed to move in this game. So stay as far away from the portals when moving. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Um... I'll just copy that, in that case. Right. Got a nice little fancy-dancy observation room here. Looks like a Portal 1-style observation room, almost. What are we gonna be working with today? Just faith plates. Nothing else, huh? None of these other things are applicable? Alright. So, let's run that command. There we go. Apparently we have moving portals. I'm thinking, is it like the portalable walls that have been used in the Mevius map or what have you? Well, did that change? When did that change? Also, what is... Why am I able to walk here? Ooh, what is that? Am I supposed to be able to make that shot? I don't think I'm supposed to be able to make that shot. <laughs> I think I broke the map a little bit. Let's just clear those portals, shall we? I wanna know what animated. Can we, uh... Well, oh, no, nah, let's, let's... Here, how about I just do this? This'll probably work better. Oh, now that's an interesting death animation that I've never seen before. That was li quite literally just falling through the grinders. I'll run the command again in a moment here. There we go. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, so these are flat initially. What triggers these? Oh, just getting near them, I guess. I guess I must have gotten close enough, or maybe it's a time delay? Who knows? Anyway, I'm- I'm distracted by the- the, the prettiness of this map. What's going on here? I guess this is part of the theme of Inferno- uh, Inferno, right? So we've got... a laser. I'm not sure what we're gonna do with it. There's a cube. That falls awfully close to the Fizzler. Ah, uh, our exit criteria, so we'll want to move that panel over to here. We probably have moving portals left. That's probably why I had to turn on cheats on and off it real quick at the beginning. Hmm. Okay, well I best to guess- I, mean, I guess the best way to get over there is to fling over there, right? That fan's not gonna kill me, right? Let's find out. Oh, that's aim assisted. No, that fan doesn't kill me. Awesome. What is this? Nothing. Nothing there. Just decoration. Um... Oh, right, I can aim up there. Let's do that, shall we? There goes the moving portal. Coolio. Guess we'll just leave that there for now, I suppose. Ah, yes, I see. So this is sort of like... This is sort of like in the maps with the portal buttons. What are they called? The ones that Toolby made? They, uh, yeah. Toolby made, uh, test elements, and I think this is one of the things that's allowing moving portals. Anyway, so back to what I was doing, solving this puzzle. Still a bit flustered. What is that? What is that? I didn't even see that earlier. Let's go ahead and save and continue. What is that? Oh, crap, well that's kinda not really what I wanted to do, but this gives me a better view anyway. Huh. I guess just decoration. Is there not a place I could stand here that lets me stand? Or is this just a really large trigger for the faceplate? Wow, that- that is a large trigger for that faceplate. I feel like it's larger than normal. Well, anyway, let's- I know how to use this. We just need to place our black portal down here. Oh my gosh! 
I need to stop jumping on there. That's my problem. There. <laughs> oh, aim assist in the direction. Well, fine. I guess it doesn't really matter that much, does it? What? That's not what I thought would happen. Alright, I guess this works too, then. That opens the exit, now how do I get out of here, though? Don't have a way, like, we could- we could respawn the cube and that would move back. But, I don't think we have a way to get back up after doing that. Without placing a portal. We would have to place our green portal... Is there a way to get... up? Hang on, this is grading, right? So that means I should technically be able to shoot a portal somewhere? No. Why is this grading? I really don't see a reason for this to be grading. Also, I just realized I have to actually... land here. Hmm... Yeah, I don't have a way to get up here without... flinging. Or using the faith plate, perhaps. No, no, I have to fling, because I can't have that in two places at once. Huh. Well, let's save here and see what happens if we do this. It slices me, of course it does. Why wouldn't it? And we don't have a way to do anything about getting that cube, right? So, what happens if I do this? <laughs> let's, uh, let's just pretend. Shall we? Let's pretend. That I didn't just mess up like that. Oh my goodness. Is portal friendly? Did I not- does it not persist across reloads? When did I turn it off? I don't remember. Hey, there's actually portable walls here. portal level, not portable. Oh, That's important, we can actually see that from here. Ah, How do we get the cube up here? I'm not supposed to catch the cube in midair, right? I guess it's theoretically possible. Huh. Let's actually try that, I suppose. Come here, cube. You and I are going to die and reload a save. Man, that- that dropper is way too close to the fizzler, isn't it? Oh, it saves me here? Come on. I'll load my save manually in that case. Didn't know there was an autosave there. There we go. This is the save I wanted. That didn't quite work out how I wanted it to! <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? I'll run that command again, just in case it somehow didn't get run. Wait, don't I have to... 
That's probably why it didn't work. That's probably why it didn't work, I didn't have cheats enabled. Hmm... Alright, let's try this again. And it's still not working for me. Huh. Well... What the... Excuse me! Uh... What? Strange... I think... I think your animated animation... is being bugged out by Valve a little bit. Yeah, this is what happens with, like, panels and stuff. Anyway, let's- let's- let's stop reloading saves, cause that takes a long time. Let's just go back up here. Oh, I didn't even see that. Fancy that. And, uh... <laughs> oh my gosh. I cannot fall on this portal- portal for the life of me. I also can't speak properly for the life of me. You know what? Fine, come on, give me this cube. I'm pretty sure I can very easily catch it in midair. If I can even get into the portal. Way! I don't know why I did that, that was fun though. Alright, we're back here. No quick saves needed. I need to time it better than that, though. Hmm. Is that really intended, though? That- that- something about that just doesn't feel quite right. And I messed up again. <laughs> it really does just pull you through. Whee! Alright. I'm getting kinda tired of not falling into this portal. It's definitely enabled. It's definitely enabled. Not sure what the issue is with this. Let's see here. Oh, come on! Seriously! Why can I not fall into this portal? Are you serious right now, game? I don't know if it's my fault or if it's Valve's fault. Oh my gosh, or if it's the map maker's fault. Either way, it is not working at all. Oh my gosh, I swear I'm looking straight down. It is not working. It's just not working. Some- Team's been told me some command about... There was some command about debugging the portal funneling. Funneling the portals... There was some debug command, I don't remember what it was now. Portal funnel debug, there it is. I don't even know what that command does, or how to use it. Well... <laughs> oh, I can actually place a portal on that, who knew? I'm gonna 
funnel to that one. Can I actually get across with this? If I can actually jump worth a darn. Oh, nope, that... Well, not sure what happened there. Either way, it's not working, and that's... that's kind of... making me angry. <laughs> I feel like I know what to do, but it's just not working because of the portal funneling not working. I never realized how much I relied on, on portal funneling until now. Oh crap, I fell off. I didn't want to fall off. I just wanted to move sideways. Save. Oh well, now that's... that's unfortunate. Why did I do that? I knew that wouldn't work. Mm-hmm. Let's try this again, shall we? And... I failed again. Let's wait for the cube to stop doing its thing. There we go. Come on! What am I doing wrong? You know what? Let me just restart, shall we? I should restart the whole map because I think I broke something somehow. Let's see here. Is that on a timer, or is it just when I get near? Who knows? Right, so let's go back up there. And... what did I need to do? I already forgot. <laughs> forgot how to do this first. Oh, right, 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 there we go, that's what I wanted. Does this cube start? No, I have to press the cube, because it doesn't, doesn't drop the first one. That funnels me! Does it not funnel on the moving? When it- the other portal on the moving panel? Who knows? <laughs> I threaded the needle there. That was amazing. Aw, uh, totally unnecessary. I just like doing that. Alright. Save. Push button once. Yeah, it doesn't want to funnel anymore. That could totally work. What is... What, this... this steam hurts? Oh, come on! It's just steam. I guess it would hurt a lot, though. I guess the metal's pretty hot, but you're wearing the long fall boots, right? Oh, and it autosaves you here. Don't put an autosave in a place where the players could end up in a place that kills them. So I'm literally in an autosave loop right now, unless I move quickly. Yeah, if I don't move quickly enough, I'll just die over and over again from that autosave. Right, let's load my quick save. I don't know why you would put an autosave there anyway, because there's actually no benefit to me being up there anyway. Because I can't get the cube, unless I do it this way. Come on. And now this guy's going all... that's again... oh, there he goes. I thought I was gonna have to fix it manually. Nope. Is it- am I supposed to grab it when it respawns? Cause that doesn't seem right. Hmm. 
and I'm not gonna get used to the timing, let alone do this properly. Oh my gosh, it doesn't want to funnel me. What is the deal with this? Will it funnel me now? No, it won't. For some reason, when the portal's on there, it just won't funnel. What'll, will it funnel me now? Let's find out. Do I have to, like... Oh, you know what? Does... Is it scripted to turn it off every single time that thing moves? That might be it. Oh, yep, I think that's it, because now it's working. Did it say that? After you enter the test chamber. That's all it says. It just says after you enter the test chamber. It doesn't say after the platform moves. It says after you enter the test chamber. Alright, well. That was certainly an exercise in frustration. Hmm. Now I gotta figure out how to do this. And I'm only no clipping to save time, because I could do- I could get back into the state quite easily. It just takes a long time. Okay, that timing's wrong. Let's see here. That's still too early. And that time it didn't fizzle. Am I even- is this even the right track here? This doesn't- doesn't seem right, but I can't think of anything else to do. Because I can't see any portal services from here. All I can do is I can see that when I'm down there, and I can see this. But then when I get back up here, I wouldn't be able to do that. And like, the only way to get over there is to have that there, so I can't just leave it positioned here. I really see no other option here. Again too early. Let's try this again. You wait for it to actually fizzle. Ah man, I'm still too early. I need to wait a little bit longer after it fizzles. See, that's- that's too late. If I press the button and then immediately go for it, it's too late. So I have to wait until it fizzles at least once. Oh man, I was so close there. I can't move that to, like, to right side, right? Yeah, that's aim assisted. Maybe if I could, I'd have to move it back first. Uh. Um... I feel like I'm just- it just doesn't feel right. The other option would be to time it as it's there, but that would be even less feasible to do. That was too early. Come on now. What is the point of that fan? Just decoration? Because you would think it would suck or blue the cube or something. You would think the airflow would affect the cube in some way. Okay, that was... I think it's possible if I just get the timing perfect. Maybe. Not entirely sure. Has anybody else played this? They don't- they don't know if the solution's intended or not, because it's been such a long time since they played this. Their own map, they forgot how to play. <laughs> oh dear. Hmm. Yeah, that's 
too late. Oh, come on now. Don't you do that to me. I could potentially grab it. I don't even think it's possible, so like, I came out... here. Can I even grab it from here? No! It is literally impossible to grab it from here. So... then what? No way to turn off the fizzler that I'm aware of. What the heck am I jumping on? Stupid exit door. Yeah, I can do that easily enough. That's about the only thing I can do easily enough. And that's it. Can't do anything else here. Did I just waste a whole bunch of time? I think I wasted a whole bunch of time, guys. <laughs> well, I guess that is one way, right? Hang on a minute. Let's do this from the very beginning. Cause I think that's the solution, I just wanna do it from the very beginning without any nonsense... in between. I think I wasted a whole bunch of time. You know, I always see something that looks like a smiley face, it's always... it's always something... It's always this! I always see this, and it looks like a smiley face. It always... it always gets me. <laughs> Alright. Let's do this from the top. Okay, so this is not on a timer, it just triggers when I go near it. It's got sticky steps. Alright, so we want to spawn the cube. We want to go over there. The aim assisted portal, that's aim assisted for some weird reason. And then we want to head up there. Keep on the button. Through here. Whoops. Doesn't matter. <laughs> and then respawn the cube. And then activate that. Do this. that bug again. I think I massively overcomplicated this. There that goes. Ah, uh, crap. <laughs> Oops. Well, now I gotta start this part over. I think I have to run through it quickly.
Come on, cube. Well, that was weird. It kind of, like, phased through for a moment there. One frame. That works. Isn't this an illusion? We're not actually moving. Alright, so then... Yeah, that's all I needed to do. I'm still not sure how intended it is, because... Either I would have to toss the cube like that, or I would have to step out, put it on the button, and then run back through the portal quickly. Which I guess there's enough time for. But, uh, yeah. I completely butchered this. I am so sorry. Alright. Well, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!